Today we're going to be covering how to replace a fan blower resistor. Recently we've run into an issue where the internal fan will not turn on unless it's on the high setting. As you can see, when I turn it to low, medium, or the medium high setting, nothing happens. But if I turn it to the high setting, the fan turns on. And the same goes if I turn on the AC. The low, medium, and the medium high still don't work unless I turn it to high. The car we'll be working on is a, a 2000 Toyota Camry. The blower resistor should be the same throughout all 2000 Camry models. If you're working on anything else, make sure to check with the manufacturer to see exactly what parts you need to replace and where. So let's go over the things that we need. We have one 2000 Toyota Camry sedan, check. We have our replacement part, the blower resistor. It's a uh, genuine Toyota part bought from the dealership and it costed me around $41. And the place that we'll be working with is underneath the glove compartment and it's a tight squeeze. So you'll need a angled screwdriver. Uh, the resistor is located in an awkward and very tight spot so you might want to use an angled screwdriver like the one here. You don't have to get this exact one. Um, uh, this one was actually kind of pricey. So you might want to just borrow one from somebody who has one. So in this vehicle, the blower resistor is located right beneath the glove compartment. And if we go down here, you'll see a plastic cover that covers the area that we need to head into. It very easily just pulls off. You just pull downwards and the cover just comes right off. They have these clips here that allows you to reattach quite easily. The blower resistor we'll be exchanging is this fabulous piece right here. This is the blower. It looks like a f the inside of a speaker. There's two screws and you uh, detach the wires that are connected to it. And it should be just a simple matter of just unscrewing the resistor and taking it out. I won't show it to you on the video because I don't have enough hands to unscrew the resistor and hold the camera at the same time, so. Okay, so with the power drill, we barely managed to squeeze in and unscrew the old resistor. Check it out. After 11 years of use, I mean, the components are all corroded and rusty. So it's no wonder that the AC stopped working. So we're gonna go ahead and pop in the new resistor. That was before, here's the after. How clean that is, yeah. Okay, I know it's a little dark, but now that the new resistor has been replaced, I put the wires back. Here's the old resistor as proof. So now let's jump into the driver's seat. Let's see if this baby works. Let's fire this baby up. Okay, it's very light, but I hear something. This is the low setting after all. Here's medium. It's getting a little louder. Medium high. There we go. It is definitely on. So that just goes to show that by replacing the old resistor with the new one, the lower settings on the AC now works. We can even try it on the different settings. Yep, definitely works. Even with AC, yep. Awesome, great. Well, there you have it. Uh, that's how you uh, replace the blower resistor in your car. I'm going for a spin. I'll see you guys around. 